Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the death of the MPL, which is some, if not the worst idea, pretty close. So 2021 and 2022 will be the last season for Pro Magic Play. Pro Magic not returning after next year's MPL and Rivals League. Now, let's go ahead and think about this for a moment. If the MPL and the Rivals League was generating money and interest and you know people were really excited and the numbers showed that, hey, this league was actually beneficial, very similar to Rocket League, League of Legends, Overwatch League, and so on, then of course they would continue it. Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast, they're in the business of making money. They're not in the business of losing money. So not only did they end the Mythic Invitation in the Mythic Pro League, the MPL, in the Rivals League, they are ending competitive magic play. As the word looks to a post-COVID future, we look towards the next iteration of Magic competitive play system. One that recaptures the magic of gathering while expanding play opportunities to a wider audience. So they listed this thing. It's kind of cryptic. It's really unknown. Um, but basically he said, hey, we lost a lot of money. No one is watching. And uh, we're going to yeet our way out of this uh, really bad contract that we have. After two seasons of convoluted qualifying methods and pro play devolving into league weekends featuring lame duck formats and a handful of large tournaments, Wizard of the Coast will be sunsetting the pro league with the final season seeing a reduced total number of events for the MPL rival players. The article that announced the upcoming changes cites COVID as the main reason for derailing the push for esports. Ironically, it's the eSport Twitter Twitter. <laughs> the person who's managing the eSports Twitter is going to lose their job soon, saying that magic is not designed to be an eSport. I mean, Omega Wow, right? I mean, imagine this. From their own Twitter, which is, you know, their own Twitter Twitter thing, they're saying that, oh, we're not going to be an eSport. That's crazy. That dude's going to lose his job soon because, Magic eSport is not going to work. It never was going to work. Uh, viewers, uh, professional le level league, incorporating digital play. Look at that stuff. Uh, Huey Jensen, who's part of the problem, by the way. After years of bad decisions, lack of coherent vision and leadership, and inability or unwillingness to improve on failing systems and projects, Pro Magic is coming to an end Thanks to all who supported us over the years. I would argue Pro Magic is coming to the end because none of you are effing entertaining. If it was Mr. Beast, do you think the Wizard of Coast would pull that? I guarantee you what happened was they ran Mr. Beast and they were like, wait a second. How much do we pay the MPL? You do realize the MPL with their base salary of $70,000 plus winning up to millions of dollars in prize support. Their effing developers, developers don't get paid $70,000. Gavin Pro Vehe probably doesn't get paid $70,000. Based with, you know, the bonus being, you know, upwards of $200,000. No one on, in Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro probably makes as much as the MPL members. The MPL members, given their reward system and the hundreds of the $100 million invested in them, the advertising and all this stuff, they get paid more than probably 99%. They probably get paid more than everyone minus Chris Cox, right? And that is... So I would just go ahead and say, if I was a MPL member and I was being paid more than every other employee of Wizard of the Coast, every other you know, member of Hasbro... Like 70,000, if you look at the glass door of Hasbro, Wizards of the Coast, you're going to notice that they get, they're get they vastly underpaid. Developers are not being paid properly for their given location. Um, game designers, I guarantee you Lee Sharp doesn't make as much as an NPL member. 
And who are these NPL members? Do they have followings? Do they have, you know, are they entertaining? They were given two to three years to make this work and none of them can break a hundred viewers on Twitch. That should tell you everything you need to know. Like it sucks for the MPL rivals, but if they bring back the old Pro Tour, this is kind of gas. They told us they have no intentions of going back to the old system. There will be no path to magic as a career anymore. I clap my hands for that because it never should have been a career. If you're 32, 34, 35, and all you've ever done is play magic and I feel bad for you because you haven't really developed any skill sets that would help you in life. But at the same time, no other game. Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't have career Yu-Gi-Oh! players. Uh, Pokemon doesn't have it. And Pokemon is bank right now. If you considered what we had before the MPL as not professional, so yes, it probably ends the system. I see as a sign of hope to go back to the old system we're not going back to anything close to the old system. So it's all these doom and gloom. And honestly, it would always end because somebody in accounting in Hasbro finally added up the numbers and said, hey, wait a second. Why don't we just do an anime convention? Why don't we just do a Dallas card show? Like legit, every single other target actually recently is no longer going to sell Pokemon cards for the safety of the vendors and their employees. The only thing I guess Target's going to sell, because they're not going to sell sports cards either, is, uh, is Magic cards. I think it really comes down to basic facts. Uh, the basic fact of the matter is very simple in my opinion. It's, uh, I agree this is brutal for those 32 plus who were committed to being in the league. But it's just impossible to run this kind of system where there's no direct path in or out from the pro scene. However, the keyword will be scaled price structures with large events they still plan to run. There will still be a small percentage of good enough players in the future who can still earn money and live the dream. Unlikely, it's almost impossible already and they flat out told existing players not to consider a career viable anymore. Dun, dun, dun.